I still remember the first day I landed in Canada, uncertain of my future, a little worried about fitting in and adjusting and making a life here. Three years later, I feel much more at home. Today, I wanted to look back at all the new immigrant mistakes I have made, so that if you are new here, maybe you can avoid them. Before we start, here's a disclaimer. Don't be too hard on yourself if you're trying to understand a new country. It's not an easy task to start all over again. Now that this is out of the way, let's count my mistakes. It took me a little while to understand how money works here, and I wasn't smart about it at first. I didn't utilize my TFSA account, didn't bother about contributing to RRSP and investing. But now that I have a better sense of things, I feel like things are smoothing out. When I decided to come to Canada, I didn't do my research on where I wanted to land. I just let my jobs take me wherever. Honestly, I don't regret it because I love staying in Vancouver. But I could have researched more. I could have made a more conscious choice. Maybe I would have picked a more affordable city. That's exactly why I make more videos on Vancouver living now so that anyone who watches these videos can make a more conscious choice, which I really didn't make. When I first came to Canada, it was an opportunity for me to start all over again. Get new appliances, kitchenware, everything. And I think that's where the most mistake happened. So I got a lot of new appliances in excitement like my Vitamix which was extremely expensive and I think that was a huge waste because in this entire one year I have only used my Vitamix to make soup like seven times and I really think that I could have saved that money and not got overexcited and bought so many kitchen appliances. One thing I have understood about having a career in Canada is that education cannot end. If you want to keep polishing your skills and upgrading yourself you have to keep learning. In the beginning I was so averse to taking up continued education or going back to school. But if you want to earn more here, you have to take up continued education. Now I'm taking up a few courses from different universities and they are really helping me. You get to learn way much more and it also helps you grow professionally. So if you've been putting it off, better go back to school. I find it really hard to forgive myself for not doing my own paperwork in Canada for a long time. I think it's really easy to do your paperwork, whether it's applying for your SIN or applying for your PR card or even applying for your citizenship. It's not that hard. I was so dependent on others and I really really regret that. I wish I would have understood this sooner and just did my own paperwork to save a lot of money. So now I do my own taxes, I do all my paperwork myself and I recently did my Canadian citizenship application all by myself. So I'm really proud of that. I'm glad I learned from that mistake. I also didn't socialize that much but I blame COVID for that. Setting up a new life was so consuming that making that special effort to find people and maintain friendships was not a priority for me. But now things are different and I realize that no matter where you go in the world, you can find someone who can be your friend. I'm not saying that I'm done making mistakes in my Canadian immigrant journey. But all I'm saying is that I'll try to learn better with each mistake I make. That's what mistakes are for, isn't it? Do let me know if you have made any mistakes as a newcomer in Canada in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you want to see more Vancouver vlogs or want some guidance about living in Vancouver. See you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and be kind.